so computer basically you know it it has three major block uh, in or in fact we call it four major blocks one is input another one is output next one is cpu central processing unit and in central processing unit there is a another unit that is what we call mu memory unit now let us you know go into the detail and uh, what uh, what exactly you know computer system consist of input input are you know through which you are you are giving data to the computer so input uh, is basically the devices through which you can you know put the data inside the computer and mouse keyboards or uh, joysticks these are the certain you know typical input devices through which we are putting data into the computer and uh, output devices in the same way as the name suggests it is used to you know check the output so the devices which are responsible for doing this task is monitor printing plotter there are so many but you must have to aware about these two things and uh, we put the data and uh, we get the information this is very important now what is the difference between data and information this is a very good question see data is a you know something uh, which is not uh, uh, properly organized or which has no you know have it it contains certain information so we have to process it and get it some useful you know uh, information that is what we call information which is which we use uh, for certain task so data is a raw data means the raw the raw input that you given to the computer and then computer will process it and give it to the data in the terms of information the useful you know uh, sentences or useful meaning which has certain meaning that is what we call information so data means which do not have you know specific information definitely it is contained inside the data so after processing we will get an information so this is the difference between data and information and uh, uh, the heart of the computer is you see this is what we call cpu that is what we call central processing unit and in cpu there are further three main parts one is cu cu called stands for control unit alu stands for arithmetic logic unit and main memory which is also a part of you know memory unit so these three are you may say earlier you know uh, these are these, these are on the motherboard basically this is a single board central processing unit on which these three particular units are there uh, control unit earlier the main memory was you know it is uh, not on the motherboard but nowadays everything is on motherboard so control unit alu and main memory now what is control unit do is doing uh the what is the function of control unit control unit obviously as the name suggests it controls the flow of information or flow of data from input to output so control unit is responsible for uh, uh for the flow of information or control the information uh like I, i'll give you one example let us suppose we want to you know add two numbers 2 and 3 so as an input you provided 2 and 3 and the control unit will you know just uh, taking care of about the flow of the data means how this two means the instruction flow of instruction means first initially two is you know taken then three is taken then they have to add them then the provide result to the output so this is a sequence of process so the that sequence is maintained by this control unit so control unit follows you know maintain the sequence and all the instructions are initially stored in this control unit already it is stored in control unit and further the control unit just you know uh, responsible for checking whether the sequence is maintained or not so this is the function of control unit now what is the function of alu alu stands for arithmetic logic unit arithmetic means you know subtraction addition multiplication like mathematics and the logic unit is you know logical and or that you learned in your if you have a math background you learned it in your sets unit in which unit uh, mathematics in sets 
where you learn about and or union intersection like that that is what you call logical so in that in other words if you are computer science background students you must be aware about and gate nor gate nand gate so they all are comes under logic so logic is basically you know uh, where the certain sort of logic when completed then only the circuit operates otherwise the circuit is not operating so these two are arithmetic and logic calculations are done by this alu and uh, what is the role of control unit you see control unit is not connected with the arithmetic logic unit arithmetic logic unit will perform the mathematical calculation by fetching the data from the main memory initially like input whatsoever you have given you have given to the main memory then main memory given it to the arithmetic logic unit after the performing of calculation which is controlled by control unit given to the main memory and then it is uh, the output is uh, you know uh, sent to the output devices to display so this how these things are uh, happen now main memory is what main memory is your your rom and ram it is not your hard disk mind it main ram memory is your ram and rom it is what we call uh, and uh, particularly the types of the rams and the roms so it comes under main memory and auxiliary storage is what auxiliary storage is not secondary memory and your secondary actually memory is classified into two one is primary and other is secondary primary memory is those memories which are you know on board and particularly rom and ram and auxiliary storage is are the additionally which you can you know taken taken it off and uh, uh, use it somewhere else so that is what we called auxiliary storage or secondary storage that is hard drive pen drive and uh, your cd drive all are you know auxiliary storage because on that you stored the data and uh, you can taken it off and uh, you may say when we switch off the you know this computer the main memory is switch off but the data is permanently stored in this auxiliary memory like hard disk so when you switch it on again then the uh, then the memory get on and it will take the uh, again loaded load the data from the this uh, secondary memory so let's 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 move towards you know little bit with the input with the literature now input is what i already told you inputs are the devices like mouse yes, sir. scanner yes please yes now sir to swap kis mein padega swap swap of what swap means swap memory swap memory is swap is it's a it's a function i think not a memory swap swap is not a memory it's a function so let let, let me let me come to that also just just wait just wait let me cover it see the input is what input is the the devices like mouse keyboard scanner i already told you these are the input device through which we you know take the data so the function of the input units are take the data to be processed by the user convert the given data into machine readable form and then add then transmit and convert the data to the main memory to the computer the sole purpose is to connect the user with the computer so input is basically input unit is responsible for to connect with the computer so next one is cpu cpu i already told you it's a brain of computer it works the same way as a human brain works and uh, cpu means cpu if i am talking about cpu it is all together about this whole diagram this cpu the cpu whenever somebody say cpu don't get confused with cpu cpu is control unit which is a part of cpu somebody asks you the question what is the difference between cpu and cpu so the difference between lies in you know the cpu is a part of cpu so here cpu uh, moreover the computer uh, cpu conducts all the arithmetic and logical operation in the computer and uh, now the cpus comprises of two units namely alu and cpu and both of these units work sync means they are syncing with each other and the cpu processes the data as a well. whole so let's see what is alu alu i already told you it's consisting of two terms arithmetic and logical arithmetic means like arithmetic operations like multiplication board mass whatsoever you learn multiplication subtraction division addition and it perform all sorts of calculations and uh, then send back to the storage and the, in the same way what is lu lu stand for 
which can perform the logical operation like and or and equal to or less than these all are you know logical operations so it is done by the alu now what is cu cu uh, i already told you it is used for you know controlling the flow of information so the control unit as the name suggests is a controller of all the activities tasks and operation means controller of means it controls it observes and it you know guides how the particular operation has to be performed so all this is performed inside the computer the memory unit sends a set of instruction to the control unit then the control unit in turn converts those instruction and after that these instructions are converted into control signals these control signals helps in prioritizing and scheduling the activities thus the control units coordinate the tasks inside the computer and sync with the input output unit i think uh, it is easy next is memory unit all the data that has to be processed or has been processed is stored in the memory unit and memory unit is a hub of all the data where all the data gets stored it transmits it to the required part of the computer whenever it is necessary otherwise it is stored in the memory so memory unit is consisting of uh, uh, it is faster accessing the processing unit so it is connected with the cpu it is synced with the cpu thus making tasks easier and faster so there are two types of computer memories one is primary memory another is secondary memory so primary memory i, I already told you it is uh, which is on the board and uh, when the when the switch it switch off means the electricity we powered off then these is this memory get lost because this is temporary it is not a main memory so ram stands for random access memory it is an example of primary memory the memory is directly accessible to the cpu it is used for reading and writing purpose and uh, for data to be processed it has to be first transmitted to the ram and then to the cpu so all the data you know which has to be processed it is sent to the cpu through the ram and uh, one one more memory is there that is what we call rom ram rom is random uh, read only memory and ram is you know your random access memory we will uh, do it in uh, another section how they are different from each other and all all the stuff so but ram and rom mind it both are the primary memory and both are on the board on the motherboard and what are the secondary memory secondary memory is are the uh, are the memory which are used for uh, permanent storage purpose and it is they are also called auxiliary memories so your hard disk is an example of secondary memory let us suppose there is a power failure so data is not get erased it is stored in the hard disk so this is this is how the primary memory and the secondary memory are different from each other so let's move towards the last part output output is i already told you like a printer other devices which is used to produce the output in the form of print monitor projector these all are you know output unit through which you can you know find out the output processed information so in the summary let's let's quickly you know uh, read all the points the data is accepted by the input unit it is given to the user uh it is given by the user and it is then converted into binary form for the computer to read it so data whatsoever you are going to input like if you are typing an application so you write and to the principal so like that 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 data is given to the computer in the terms of binary form which is done by the input devices which is done by the input unit and the information is then sent to the memory unit for the storage and processing first the data is directly sent to the memory for the storage and processing then the required data that needs to be processed is assessed by the cpu it is assessed from the primary memory the arithmetic and the logical operation then perform the data means process the data and the control unit schedules all the activities for the smooth working and uh, at the end again the processed data again sent back to the storage unit for the storage and uh, then the, it is sent to the output unit for uh, you know to show it to the processed data so this how uh, let me let me once again explain it through the block diagram uh, see the data is given by you as an english language which is converted into binary form 
this is the task responsible uh, for this. It is the input devices are responsible for, and then the data is firstly sent to the main memory, and means means it is stored in the memory, and after that, the data is uh, whatsoever you have to uh, do the calculation or and logic or uh, arithmetic operation, ALU fetch the data from the main memory, process it. And this process is controlled by control unit. Means the task is should be you know scheduled according to the task has to be performed. And uh, once the task has been done, the the process data again sent to the main memory. It is stored in the memory, and it is then given to the output for uh, if you want to see it on the uh, for uh, output to display. Basically, it is sent to the output for displaying purpose. and the main memory and auxiliary memory don't get confused there are two words primary and secondary there are two words main and auxiliary main are the primary the another name of main is primary memory don't get confused at all main memory means your primary memory which is on board and auxiliary storage is your secondary memory which is connected with the main memory and uh, obviously it is a you know main part of the computer you can't ignore it means without hard disk you can't operate your computer because main memory is comes into play whenever there is a processing kind of thing you know otherwise the data is stored in the auxiliary memory so you see control unit also connected with the auxiliary and control unit also uh, connected with the main and it also regulates input and output now what will happen I, i'll tell you one one more interesting point at this uh, at this you know stage rom read only memory what does it do rom is also a main memory read only memory and in which bios is stored bios is your basic input output program operating system so bios is you know preloaded in the main memory it is given to you well, means it is stored in the rom and it is given by default by the company and what is the function of that rom when you switch on your computer that rom has an information regarding you know it checks quickly whether all the things has been correctly connected or not like input devices are there output devices are there or, or it is properly connected with the alu like this all the pre run that is what you call pre run and that uh, pre run of bios bios means basic input output uh, system that tells you if something is missing it will gives you a clue or a hint or a warning like uh, the keyboard or mouse is not connected or like printer is not connected or output devices are not there it is given you as an warning so why it is made then rom because you know several people those who do not have an understanding about computer or a mobile mobile is also a computer nowadays so computer Uh, they, if they, you know, uh, do certain changes, certain changes in that ROM, then your system get blocked, means your system get halt. So that is why it is put in, put in. It is a very, very light program, and it is put into inside the ROM so that the general purpose, the general user, you know, uh, has not uh, access to that, so that it uh, delib deliberately or unfortunately they are not able to, you know, do the changes into that program. so that is why it is made more secured only the company or the industry people or the technicians like uh, engineers they can have an access to the rom also so but not it is not given to the access, access is not given to the you know general public that is what that, that is why uh, it is given in, uh, stored inside the rom and what is the ram ram obviously ram is responsible means what is the function of rom when ever you switch on your computer so the first function has to be performed by the rom means rom has to check and tell that everything is you know placed at its right place once the rom has uh, done its function then it uh, gives uh, you know the uh, the hand uh, the next task to the ram ram is responsible for you know taking most of the data as i told you the data has to be you know sent to the alu and send uh, process and everything and what is the function of hard disk hard disk has a function only to you know store the data because rom 
or ram they are they are very limited in size they they can't you know handle so many data most of the uh, although all the data is stored in the hard disk and hard disk is a because as i told you know in the thing this is a very confusing question and most students or in fact teachers so the users they are confused what is this ram what is this rom what is this hard disk hard disk sometimes people says hard disk is the primary memory wrong hard disk is your secondary memory the uh, any memory which you can you know taken it off and uh, put it into some another system and do your tasks again that is what we call secondary and primary means what which is which has a direct connection with your cpu means if your cpu get failed or halt it means your primary memory or everything get destroyed but the data stored in the auxiliary memory means the secondary that's why that's why it is happen sometimes you know your computer have a bug and it is not functioning at a time what we do we just remove our hard disk and put it into the another system and do our task because our data is get saved it is saved there but the yes the runtime data it is done by rom only no rom ram only so ram is very important because runtime processing for the runtime processing you required ram because ram is responsible for taking data process it so that is why while purchasing laptop you should be you know you must have to be clear understanding why we need you know more ram the more more the ram is the more the processing speed we are always you know taken care about the hard disk yaar hard disk kitni hai wo samne wala bolta hai 1 tera hai 2 tera hai 10 tera hai but we should ask you know processing ke liye as an engineer we should ask you know ram kitni hai तो वो बोलेगा आपके पास रैम जी इसके चार जी है और एक्सटेंडेबल है आठ जी कर सकते हैं मतलब एक रैम और लगा सकते हैं साथ में तो आपको पता है कि हाँ चार जी से भी मेरा काम चल जाएगा और आने वाले टाइम में मुझे अगर रैम बढ़ानी भी पड़ी क्यों क्योंकि जब मैं बड़े बड़े सॉफ्टवेयर चलाऊंगा सो आई रिक्वायर्ड मोर प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड एंड प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड इज मीन्स डाटा प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड इज डिपेंड अपॉन रैम तो रैम आपको कितनी मिल रही है ये ध्यान रखना है हाँ एक बात और आप पूछेंगे सर ये एक्सटेंडेबल मेमोरी का क्या मतलब होता है जैसे चार जी के बाद वो कहते हैं जी चार जी और एक्सटेंडेबल कर सकते हो ये सब बकवास बाजी है एक्सटेंड देखो जब एक बंदे का जब सेट होता है जब कंप्यूटर एक इंडस्ट्री में सेट होता है तो एट अ टाइम जो सेट होकर कोई चीज आती है डेट इज यू नो गुड और उसके बाद आपने कुछ और एडिशन करा समटाइम्स वट विल हैपन डेट एडिशन विल नॉट कम्पेटेबल विद द सिस्टम आपके सिस्टम के साथ कम्पेटेबल नहीं बैठ पाती आप खुद ही समझो ना जब भी कोई एक चीज डिवाइस डिजाइन करी हुई है तो इनिशियली जो आपने लगा दिया वो तो लगा दिया वही एक मेन चीज है वो बस लोगों को लालच देने के लिए कि भैया चौंसठ जी है आप इसको 128 जीबी कर सकते हो दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग एक्सटर्नल स्लॉट एक एडिशनल स्लॉट दे देते हैं बट आई डोंट थिंक सो कि वी शुड हैव टू गो विद डैट अगर आपको लेना ही है तो आप एक बार में ही हायर uh, कॉन्फिग्रेशन को परचेज करिए क्यों क्योंकि जो भी डिवाइस आपने लगाई है डेट इज कम्पेटेबल विद ईच अदर यहाँ पे जो भी प्रोसेसर है वो रैम के साथ कंपैटिबल है रोम के साथ कंपैटिबल है भाई एक बार ही आपका अगर वही बात करें ना एक इंसान है उसका ऑपरेशन कर दिया हमने उसको एक हार्ट को निकाल के दूसरा हार्ट लगा दिया तो भाई आर्टिफिशियल हार्ट तो आर्टिफिशियली है इट विल वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू यू नो कि आर्टिफिशियल के हिसाब से काम करेगा ये तो नहीं कि वो रिजनल हो जाएगा द सेम थिंग विल हैपन विद द मशीन सेकेंडरी Uh, so this is all about you know i think the today's lecture uh, from my side it is enough if you have any query sir? any question regarding this you please ask me yes please raise your hand one sir? by one you please raise your hand so that i can understand your name also yes one by one yes barun vasan please ask question sir hum bios ko update to kar hi sakte hai na kisko बायोस को बायोस को अब बायोस को कभी भी अपडेट नहीं करते हैं बायोस को हम लोग अपडेट नहीं करते हैं कभी नहीं करते बायोस जो अभी पहले डला हुआ आता है वही होता है लेकिन हाँ बायोस को अपडेट कर सकते हैं उसको रिमूव करके दूसरा डाल सकते हैं अपडेट का मतलब तो यही होता है कि उसको कम्प्लीटली हटा दिया बायोस को और उसके अंदर दूसरा डाल दिया रोम को रोम के अंदर मतलब हम छेड़खानी उसका पूरा प्रोसेस होता है इट इज नॉट यू नो सो इजी कि आपने रोम की किसी को उड़ा दिया फ्लैश मेमरी होती है ना उसको उड़ा दिया इसके अंदर प्रॉपर एक प्रोसेस होता है वो आपको कंप्यूटर के साथ कनेक्ट करके उसके रोम के अंदर जा करके ड्राइव के अंदर जा करके उसको चेंज कर पहले रेस करना होता है फिर उसको राइट करना होता है और उसके लिए टिपिकल सॉफ्टवेयर आते हैं इट इज नॉट डन बाई यू नो सिंपल सिंपली नहीं हम रेस कर सकते हैं उसके लिए सॉफ्टवेयर आते हैं जिसके थ्रू हम एक्सेस कर सकते हैं और जैसे कि तुमने देखा होगा 
जो बाहर से लोग लैपटॉप लेकर आते हैं या बाहर से लोग मोबाइल लेकर आते हैं आपने सुना होगा उनका वो कहते हैं ना यहाँ पे आके कम चलता नहीं है तो वो लोग क्या करते हैं उसके लॉक खोलना ये करना तो वो रोम के थ्रू होता है तो वो रोम के अंदर छेड़खानी करके रोम के अंदर वो प्रोग्राम को हटा करके दूसरा प्रोग्राम डाल देते हैं फिर वो जो एप्पल का फोन है वो यहाँ पे भी चलना शुरू हो जाता है लाइक दिस इट इज एप्पल वरुण ओके वासन ओके ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन निशांत सिन्हा प्लीज ये सर पूछ रहे थे बायोस में जो हम पासवर्ड सेट करते हैं तो क्या मेन मेमोरी को हम फॉर्मेट भी कर सकते हैं हाँ तुम कुछ कुछ भी कर सकते हो करने को तो हम बायोस को भी उड़ा सकते हैं हमारे हमें ट्रिक्स पता होनी चाहिए आप बायोस भी उड़ा सकते हो आप मेन मेमोरी को भी उड़ा सकते हो कुछ भी कर सकते हो बट करना नहीं चाहिए कोई पर्पज नहीं है ना पासवर्ड भूल गए ओ वेरी गुड तो पासवर्ड रीसेट करने के कई तरीके होते हैं हमारे पास हमारे पास देर आर सेवरल वेज कि हम पासवर्ड को रीसेट कर सकते हैं मतलब मशीन को कम्प्लीटली ऑफ करके उसमें उसके अंदर एक सेल होता है उसको निकाल करके वापस डाल दो तो वो पासवर्ड भी हट जाता है मतलब देर आर सो मेनी ट्रिक्स बट हाँ येस वी कैन डू इट कर सकते हैं एनी अदर क्वेश्चन एनी अदर क्वेश्चन ओके कार्तिक नैर वट यू आर आस्किंग एट दैट टाइम सर मैंने पूछा था स्वैप पार्टीशन नहीं होता हम डिस्क से थोड़ा सा स्पेस उठा के रैम को ऐड कर देते हैं वर्चुअली हाँ वो भी हो जाता है वो भी वो, स्वैप पार्टीशन वो कैसे काउंट होगा मेमोरी में काउंट होगा या सेकेंडरी में ओ, देखो वो इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ सेकेंडरी बट काउंटेड एज एन मेमोरी वो यस इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सेकेंडरी अगर तुम उसको कहोगे की कभी कभार हम क्या करते हैं रैम मतलब ये जो नयर पूछ रहा है ये कह रहा है कि सेकेंडरी की डिवाइस का थोड़ा सा पोर्शन हम यूज कर लेते हैं प्राइमरी के अंदर तो वो लेकिन होता है पार्ट ऑफ सेकेंडरी है लेकिन यस इट कैन बी ट्रीटेड एज अ यू नो प्राइमरी मेमोरी गुड क्वेश्चन एनी अदर क्वेश्चन एनी अदर क्वेरी यार इतने सारे बच्चे हैं मैंने इतना अच्छा तो नहीं पढ़ाया होगा कि आपको सब समझ में आ गया आरती क्लियर डू यू हैव एनी डाउट आरती शर्मा नो ओके वेरी गुड और एनी एनी अदर डाउट ओके लेट मी लेट मी गिव अ चांस टू आरती आरती विल एक्सप्लेन वंस अगेन की क्या है ये आरती समझाओ ये क्या यस सर सर जो हमारा कंप्यूटर होता है उसमें सीपीयू होता है जो हमारे कंप्यूटर का हार्ट होता है एंड उसके अंदर उसके और तीन पार्ट्स होते हैं एक कंट्रोल यूनिट सेकंड अर्थमेटिक एंड लॉजिक यूनिट और थर्ड होता है मेन मेमोरी तो uh, सबसे पहले जब हम कंप्यूटर में अपना इनपुट देते हैं अपने माउस कीबोर्ड इन सब के थ्रू तो वो सबसे पहले मेन मेमोरी में हमारा जो होता है वो उसमें जाता है देन मेन मेमोरी हमारे दो तरह की होती है एक प्राइमरी होती है एक सेकेंडरी होती है तो रैम और रोम जो होते हैं वो हमारे प्राइमरी मेमोरी के अंदर आते हैं एंड जो हमारे हार्ड डिस्क वगैरह पेन ड्राइव वगैरह ये सब होते हैं ये हमारे सेकेंडरी मेमोरी में आते हैं एंड देन उसके बाद जो भी हमने इनपुट डाला है उसके ऊपर अर्थमेटिक एंड लॉजिक ऑपरेशन जो भी यूज करने होते हैं वो यूज होता है Uh, मतलब जो भी उसमें करना तो सब हो के फिर वो कंट्रोल यूनिट में होता है कंट्रोल यूनिट जो होता है वो डेटा uh, का जो फ्लो होता है उसको कंट्रोल करता है और जो मतलब डेटा को बेसिकली कंट्रोल करता है पूरा एंड देन उसके बाद जो आउटपुट होता है वो डिस्प्ले करते हैं तो नहीं सबसे पहले वो वापस मेरी मेमोरी में आता है फिर आउटपुट में जाता है अच्छा ओके राइट व्हेन एवर आई आस्क यू क्वेश्चन यू नो यू ट्राई टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश सो दैट यू नो एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू नो कम्युनिकेशन मैटर्स वन थिंग एंड डेफिनेटली दोस हु हैज अ गुड कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स दे ऑलवेज हैव अ यू नो अपर हैंड फॉर गेटिंग अ जॉब सो ट्राई टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओनली नो वरी वेदर इट इज करेक्ट और रॉन्ग बट यू शुड यू नो ट्राई एट लीस्ट टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओके बट इट्स अ वेल ट्राई Uh, Arthi, let me give a chance to someone else. Okay, let me let me pick one more people. Uh, Dhruv Sharma. Dhruv Sharma. Yes, sir. Yes, please, Dhruv. Do you have any query? No, sir. No, just explain this. What what I have taught, please. Yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, <clears throat> जो जो हमारा सर कंप्यूटर होता है. उसके अंदर जो हमारा मेन जो चीज़ होती है वो सी होता है सी के अंदर तीन पार्ट्स होते हैं या थ्री पार्ट्स इन सी पी यूज फर्स्ट इज कंट्रोल यूनिट सेकंड इज अर्थमेटिक एंड लॉजिकल यूनिट्स एंड थर्ड इज मेन मेमोरी एंड हमारे पास वो भी होता है क्या बोलते हैं सेकेंडरी मेमोरी भी होती है जिसके अंदर हम डाटा वगैरह स्टोर करते हैं और सर क्या बोलते हैं जो सी जो होता है uh, वो हमारा जो डाटा का फ्लो होता है वो उसको कंट्रोल करता है मतलब एक तरीके से पूरे जो इनपुट आउटपुट इन सबको कंट्रोल करके रखता है और जो हम इनपुट डालते हैं 
उसके अंदर जो ऑपरेट करता है वो अर्थमेटिक एंड लॉजिकल यूनिट ऑपरेट करता है उसके ऊपर जो भी उस पर आउटपुट देने के लिए फिर वो मेन मेमोरी के पास जाती है फिर मेन मेमोरी उसको आउटपुट पे शो करता है जो हम देखते हैं मॉनिटर वगैरह पर प्रिंट पर ओके वेरी क्रिस्पी एंड वेरी शॉर्ट बट यू नो ट्राई टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश अगेन ध्रो दिस इज माई रिक्वेस्ट ओके सर राइट सो लेट मी गिव मी वन मोर चांस टू आरुषि 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 यस सर यस प्लीज प्लीज एक्सप्लेन डू यू हैव एनी डाउट इन दिस नो सर You just please explain. Please explain. Okay, sir. sir, CPU is the main part of the computer. First, we put the input in the computer. It goes to. Uh, it has three. Uh, the CPU has three parts. First is the control unit. Second is arithmetic and logic unit. Third is the main memory. When we put the input in uh, the, the CPU, it goes to the control unit, and uh, then the arithmetic. Uh, and logic unit process uh, does the operate yes, yes. the main memory and then uh, yes. we get out yes carry on so the main memory has uh, uh, there is a main memory and then we have sec- uh, secondary memory the secondary memory is uh is like hard disk and pen drives okay okay L- l- let's give you some questions uh, write down some questions one is what is the difference between cpu and cpu very first question what is the difference between cpu and cpu one question another another question is what is the difference between main and the primary memory main memory and the primary memory and my next question is what is the difference between auxiliary memory and the secondary memory sir can you please repeat the second question what is the difference between the main memory and the primary memory and the third question was what is the difference between auxiliary memory and the secondary memory and one very important question draw the block diagram of computer and describe its various parts draw the block diagram of computer and describe its various parts सर ये ब्लॉक डायग्राम सीपीयू का बनाना है या कंप्यूटर uh, का दिस इज दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ कंप्यूटर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड द सीपीयू इज यू जस्ट रिमूव दिस इनपुट एंड आउटपुट देन इट इज सीपीयू इफ यू पुट इनपुट एंड आउटपुट देन इट इज कॉल्ड कंप्यूटर राइट सो ये इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली बनाना है ना पेपर पे तो नहीं बनाना यस यस नाउ लेट मी स्टॉप रिकॉर्ड